Today is Friday of the 24th week in Ordinary Time, and our Gospel today is a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus journeyed from one town and village to another, preaching and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom of God. Accompanying him were the twelve, and some women who had been cured of evil spirits and infirmities. Mary called Magdalene, from whom seven demons had gone out, Joanna the wife of Herod's steward Cusa, Susanna, and many others who provided for them out of their resources. My sisters and brothers in Christ, the gospel, the good news of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's Gospel, I think, opens up a, a rich vein of cultural knowledge for us about the women of Israel. We think of Israel as being a very patriarchal society, but here are a group of women, whether they are widows or whether they are married to a living husband, have resources of their own and who choose to support Jesus and the Twelve because it seems that Jesus wasn't doing the carpenter trade when he was being an itinerant preacher. And those who had left their careers and families behind, whether they were fishermen or tax collectors or whatever else they might have been, they weren't bringing in an income. And so it is to the glory of women that they were the ones who supported Jesus out of their own resources. When we think about that, we think about how it is that they chose to do this. They had been cured. Mary Magdalene, often identified erroneously by some as the woman in yesterday's gospel, is someone that Jesus had cured of demon possession, but she was able to muster some resources to thank him and to support him and the Twelve. And they do so because they're inspired by Jesus' preaching of what Luke calls the good news of the kingdom of God. Where is it in our own lives that the Lord inspires us by his preaching to say, repent, for the kingdom of God is near? Or to say, look upon the Son of Man, who do you say that I am? And to know the answer is something far more than a prophet. It is the Anointed One, the Christ, the Son of the Living God, as Peter says in one of his best moments. But Peter and the eleven were able to follow Jesus because these women, Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Susanna, and Luke tells us many others supported them out of their own funds. So as we ask how it is that we can bring the Lord to others, we support the Lord in his preaching and teaching, and we are thankful to the Lord for how he heals us of our transgressions and of our ills. May God bless you.